Well, welcome to a, another day in the life of living in the Philippines. We're headed out to another LTO experience today. Uh, just got my driver's license renewed, uh, I don't know, a few weeks ago. Did a, did a big long video on that one. And so today we're gonna go back to LTO and get the car registration. So get the, get the tag renewed, although they don't call it that here. Every process comes with its own set of surprises and adventure. I'll just put it that way. First stop is McDo. Hello and welcome back to the G5 Philippines channel. Thanks for clicking in. I hope you're having a great day. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe. It'll make you feel good. I promise. <laughs> Next stop will be emissions testing. Yeah, so as I'm driving over to the emissions testing place, I thought I'd show you the vehicle registration renewal requirements. Now I want to emphasize that this is the LTO national website and their requirements. So our experience may very well be different depending on our locations. The LTO website lists these three requirements. Number one, being the LTO copy and electronically transmitted insurance certificate of coverage. Number two, the inspection report, which is where we're headed now. And number three, the copy of the certificate of emission compliance. I'm not sure why two and three are listed separately because they're actually accomplished at the same time. So as I said a minute ago, there are three requirements and I'm gonna to get to the third one later on in the process, okay? So here we are, we're pulling up to the emissions testing place now. It's usually pretty quick. They have many more motorcycles getting tested than cars and they have two separate machines. So they have the one machine for, when I say cars, they're actually testing this truck right now. After he's done, then I'll be next in line. The emissions testing's much like the US. I haven't studied the regulations to know what the, you know, restrictions are or, you know, whatever, but uh, quick in and out and then on to the office to get my one year auto insurance. All right, so there was a little bit of a wait, about an hour or so, but we got that done. And the cost of the inspection is 400 pesos, or about $8 USD, depending on the exchange rate. And so now we're headed over to the insurance office. All right, so we are at the the insurance office for car insurance, and uh, and oh by the way, they have a selection of clothing just in case you want to buy some clothes while you're getting your insurance. But anyway, she's processing my insurance renewal right now, and then what are we doing right now? Waiting for the paper. Yeah, waiting. For Talk to you until next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's my five-year-old daughter. I like to take my kids out with me on these little excursions when they're not in school. All right, so we got the insurance renewed. And just to mention, this insurance is the first of the three requirements we need to register our vehicle. Now, the standard insurance policy here is basically the same as our liability coverage in the U.S. And it's cheap. A one-year policy cost 1,800 peso, and by the way, this has been the same cost every year for the last five years. And then 1,800 pesos translates to about $30 USD, give or take, based on whatever the you know the current exchange rate. Okay, so I said earlier that there is one more requirement, and it's very important. So before you go into the LTO office, be sure to have your vehicle registration from the previous renewal. This is not listed on the LTO website, but they will assume that you have kept this in your vehicle, which is required by law. It's similar to the US. If you're ever stopped or involved in a vehicular incident, you'll be asked to show your driver's license and vehicle registration. So when you get ready to go into the LTO office, you will need your, your previous LTO vehicle registration, 
your insurance certificate, and your inspection or emission certificate. Oh, and cash. It's better to assume that, that payment will be cash only. Okay. So the cost of the actual renewal is 2,310 peso or about 40 to $45 USD. And as you can see here, the total is 4,510 peso or about $80 USD. Again, depending on the exchange rate. Okay. So these are the actual requirements needed for the process to renew your vehicle registration. I hope you find this helpful. And as always, drop a comment below with your questions, or I'd love to hear your funny vehicle registration experiences. <laughs> Thanks as always for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. All right. Bye for now.